Hey, welcome back to the channel. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, man. So instantly they knew they had to talk to Black Youngster and Shondell when everything happened at Yo Gotti's restaurant because they knew that he missed the meeting and they were already about to let him go. And once Big Jip told the connection about how Shondell and Black Youngster is related and, you know, had the whole thing with Dolph and then it made the two and two connect. So now that Black Jeep the getaway car leaving the Privé restaurant, that's what they looking for is basically a lot of different cars that came by there. They're looking at every single one. And one of them was the Jeep. One of them was the Nissan. And they're going to make sure because they seen the people riding in front of all of the stores coming down at like five miles an hour with all the lights off. They didn't even have the little light on the inside that shines from your rear view mirror. They didn't even have that light on. They taped it with electrical tape, like how people tape the webcam camera. And so that's why Yo Gotti has to buy all the footage from every store in that plaza so he could figure out who exactly it was that jumped out the car. Because technically, if you really look at it and you really know what's going on in Memphis and with CMG, you would know that Yo Gotti was supposed to be there that night. He was supposed to be inside like he knew that the restaurant was open. He knew who was going there to eat there because, look, they don't none of the CMG people go to Privé without checking in with Yo Gotti first and making sure that his whole entire staff knows that so and so is coming. And because they make the CMG food differently than they make the customers food, they serve the CMG food on a bigger plate. They serve the customer food on a smaller plate so that the food looks bigger and they and it makes the person get full. And so what happens is, is that once they knew, once Yo Gotti knew the people was there, he was getting ready to show up there. But he had a funny feeling because he noticed that it was the niece. He seen the Nissan. He seen the Jeep earlier in the day following around and kind of being where he was going. And so you already got to know somebody that knows him or that know someone close to him was keeping an eye on them the whole entire time. That's how they kind of followed everybody. And they thought, okay, once Yo Gotti comes to the restaurant Privé, then everybody's at one spot and that's when they were going to run the play. But the thing is, is that they heard, they overheard um, that Yo Gotti wasn't going to come through. He was going to be late or he was going somewhere else. And they already was right there on the block when their person called them and told them and gave them the green light. That's when they pulled up and you will see them. Exactly. That's why they're reviewing all of the angles of the footage right now to zoom in and see what color hair the, the guy have because they died. They had their hair dyed just like how money bag yo has the twist and everything like that and sometimes they dye the the dreads they die, they might dye the tip of the dreads yellow they might dye their hair orange or something like that but they change the color and so the person it could have had different color hair it could have been rainbow it could have been dark but the thing is is they used the push iced mask and the whole nike tech fit to come and do it just like how you seen the people from the Dolph had the whole gray fit and but these people from the Yogati, they could have allegedly had a whole black outfit because it was already dark. Like, how did they know exactly to go to Yogati Privé restaurant at 730 on the dot? Because when Finesse two times came there, he came there at 730 at the same exact time. And we still haven't heard from Big Moochie Grape in them because the thing is, is Big Moochie Grape didn't post nothing this whole week. And so we didn't even know. If he was like keeping quiet or if he heard or something or if out of town. And so but black youngster responded and a lot of people looking at the black youngster response like maybe he had gotten into it with Yogati. Like they had something going on where they must have uh, argued, fought or something because you no longer see black youngster repping any of the CMG stuff like they had a CMG meeting not too long ago and everybody was supposed to show up. Lil Migo was supposed to be there. Zebo, Zach Randolph, uh, Moneybag, yo, even Finesse Two Times was supposed to be there because Finesse Two Times is the writer for Moneybag, yo songs and they have to give him the writing. That's why they had to have him come. But Black Youngster didn't want to be there because he thought it was a setup situation 
from Big Jook telling on him and Sean Dale from two months ago. So he said, why would I come over there when your big brother already told on me? And so that's when the downfall of Yogati and Black Youngster started to where they didn't associate around each other no more. Uh, Black Youngster sent back the CMG chain through the mail and the mailman and people call Yogati talking about, did somebody take your chain? Because we see somebody with the with the CMG chain coming through the mail. And so, no, but they called Black Youngster and he told them, no, it's because I don't want the CMG chain no more. I'm not, I'm heavy camp. Black Youngster is more heavy camp than he's CMG at the current moment. And with the whole fiasco of everything happening at Yogati's Privé restaurant and people having to duck in and hit the floor like that and everything, it looked like basically all of the all of the beef, all of the issues that Yogati has, all of the people that could be looking at him funny, looking at him weird or has some sort of problem it's like any it could have it could have happened from a mix of any of the things, man. And that's why you don't want to have to have too many issues go on because you don't want to deal with having the restaurant that could always get targeted like that. Like really, they was really actually trying to catch Yogati walking up into the place. That's why they parked at the very first spot of the next door business. Cause they was they got the first spot there so they could keep an eye on everything, but nobody could see how many people was in with them because they had the whole truck deep. The Jeep was filled with people and the Nissan was right next to them. And so, but both of them was tinted, so you couldn't see the b between the tent, the darkness, and the whole lights being off and everything like that. It was pretty much hard to tell who it is. That's why they still looking for the people right now. And everybody's just speaking on like allegedly what it could be or, you know, what the witnesses saw and everything like that. It's people who was already out there that took that pulled their phones out as soon as they start seeing everything happen. Like somebody had their to go plate and they were walking out into the into the parking lot and they were trying to hit the um, finder on their car key fob. And they were trying to make the uh, alarm buzz so that they could see where they parked their car. And as that was happening, that's when the commotion started happening. They heard the first few loud noises and they dropped their key. That's when they went and hid behind somebody's wheel well tires and they hid behind the, the Ford truck waiting for everything to calm down. But they pulled their phone out and got pretty much like the first half opening of everything that was going on at the Yogatis. We looked at that and we seen how... It was multiple people out there. It was multiple people. And the thing was, is that the 22 from Dolph and it ended up being the 44 at Yogati. So they really came back and tried to do twice as much or two times. You know, a lot of people will do the two times. Like if you do something to them, they'll do something twice as bad or something. And finesse two times is, is finesse two times. And so the 22 times two is 44. So they definitely two times the Yogati restaurant. And there was multiple people out there. And that's how all them shells ended up falling on the parking lot. You could see the picture in the uh, whole B-roll footage that the news was showing about how it was the big shells. It looked like 223s or 762s crazy. And somebody really was letting loose, man. And they must have known they had the person or that it was uh, time was running out because they did, they dumped quickly and everything. And it was slot because they didn't really get close and try to go inside because it was already people who was busting back from over there. So what y'all got to realize is, is that they knew like when they were going to be there, they try to really work it to where they showed up at the same time as Yo Gotti and his group of people in the entourage that was going to be having the dinner with them. But little did they know at the last minute and at the last second, they ended up having a whole change of plans that changed the course of events that was going to lead up to that event to where instead of Yogati being there and getting caught up and having to get confronted by the dudes and maybe even if Yogati was there, maybe they would have went up to him and try to run his pockets and try to get the whole Rock Nation chain and the CMG chains. But since he wasn't there, it changed the whole course and trajectory. It saved him, but it still put the people who went there at, at, at a risk to where things still ended up happening and there's still condolences to everybody. And they still figuring out like as, as people recovering and all that. And so the toll had rose up.
we thought it was one, now it's three people. And so we want to send the family's condolence, our RIP to everybody, man. Don't want that to happen to nobody. So what we got to learn from this is that you have to be very careful, especially when you're dealing with people and you don't know who their enemies are and where you go, their enemy could be looking for you. Or if they don't get their guy, they'll just get someone close to them, their friend, their family member, anything like that. So that still goes on. That's why people got to be aware of that, especially if you're like a high profile person, a friend or member of a celebrity or somebody who's already being a uh, target on a daily basis. And so those are just the things that come with all of that. And so that's why it's better to just get the bag and be low key than to be over the top high profile where everybody knows you and everybody's looking for you and your peoples at all times. And so with all that being said, y'all got to subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment, let me know who you rocking with. I'm going to catch you later. Peace.